All right, I stuffed up. Yeah. What happened? Oh yeah, as soon as I did film the intro meeting Anton, but the audio wasn't on. So now we're gonna redo the intro. Um, we're here at where are we? We at Half Moon Bay. Melbourne. Half Moon Bay. Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in great conditions. The sunset's out. No, sunrise. sunrise. Oops, sunrise is out, not sunset. That's how early it is. Anton's gonna teach us how to ocean swim properly. Yeah, so today we'll um, do a few tricks in the open water to keep for, for, for today's race. We wanna have fun. That's most important uh, for today. But the, most, the, the part that we really wanna know what to do is how to swim faster. We'll teach you confidence, right? Yeah. yeah. You wanna be confident in the open water, so we wanna make sure. Like those guys. <laughs> yeah, like those guys. Those guys are flying. They've all been here since like 5 a.m. Anton's got some serious credentials in open water. I've uh, done a few swims. <laughs> done a few swims. Yeah, but um, um, I think the most recent one we did the 10K uh, last weekend. So that was 10K, two hours, 28 minutes. Uh, one, one minute, 28, 28 pace. pace. That was only Strava, and I was like, holy <laughs> sh... I was like, I don't even know how this guy averaged. And, and non-wetsuit, too, Not, yeah? Yeah, non-wetsuit. <laughs> non-wetsuit, 128 pace, 10Ks. Yeah. And I was like, there is no way. <laughs> <laughs> My top speed for 100 was 128, and like, I was screwed. <laughs> and Anton's also done Iron Man in like nine hours. Nine hours, 20 minutes. Nine hours, yeah. 20 minutes. The most recent one. What was your Ironman swim? Uh, 50, 51 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously good swimmer. Yeah, so it's, uh, I think, I think people undermine the importance of actually swimming good to have a, to have, to have a strong Ironman finish. So if you are not confident swimmer or you're not um, relaxed in the water and by the time you spend so much energy just trying to finish the swim, swim leg, um, I find that it's yeah, super important to actually learn how to swim faster, be stronger in the water, so you can have a good bike and run. It comes, it comes with practice. We're here today because we want to make sure you swim in the open water more often at times, especially coming to the race day, than in the pool. Let's do some tricks. <laughs> so you show you how to um, swim faster, show you how to maybe draft legally behind other swimmers, all of those tricks. Um, and yeah, draft well, legally. <laughs> yeah. Can't draft do that legally. on the bike. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, but it would be better if you could, right? 100%. <laughs> and let's get into it. Yeah. We're we'll seeing the water. The cap on. Nice and red. Sharks don't like red. <laughs> so that will keep them away. Oh, wow. I've got my cap on really weird. It's like too far on. Um, apparently, sharks like white caps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kitted out in two times shoot actually. Two times shoot yeah. cat. Let's hit it. Let's not get eaten by sharks. <laughs> oh, mate, you gotta, you gotta... Man, look at this day. Hey? It's just like a gigantic pool. I know, it looks so good. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna put my camera back. It's actually very warm. Let's go swim in open water and see how we go. Gonna try and do a big session today. Then I'm off to dog training, so let's go. Come on, Brody. <laughs> Don't check all the quality. <laughs> that, that, that's your acid? <laughs> <laughs> Don't check it in Melbourne, it'll always be bad. <laughs> nice, like to be born in a wetsuit, like. I don't know, that. Like you can't, you can't, you can't sink, right? I like, sink all the time. Yeah, but now. Like I can sink if I don't do any. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. I'm just... E everyone says they just float. <laughs> I do not sink all the time. Wait, how much did you have to eat? I don't know why as well. All right, let, you ready? Let's do a session. Let's go. I was doing stressed. I was like, where's the hands up? But I realized... I was going to the wrong yellow marker. Yeah. But look, this is the whole point of this as well, is like understanding how to do like sightseeing and Thank you. 
with that. Our bags are still there, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking in the wrong direction. Oh. <laughs> six months ago to, to, to today, swimming is getting a bit easier. Yeah, six months ago, swimming sucked. Now, I actually like swimming out of all three. Yeah? It's the least expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you'll be able to do 3.8 kilometers, no problem? Still about no problem, <laughs> but like, I feel pretty confident. Yeah, cool. yeah that's good. Yeah. So I feel you... good. There was the thing I was most worried about. Now I probably what I'm least worried about. Initially, yeah, it can be quite quite Level overwhelming and yeah. daunting for sure. But yeah. now, once you're out there, for like my first couple open water sessions, my heart rate, like as soon as I got in the water, was like 160. Yeah. Now, like I'd probably be relatively high today, but like it's sitting at 150 because we just did 600 meters. But like my heart, like oh, I'm a lot more calmer. Yes. In the water. For sure, and that's that's what you want. You want to be you want to be calm. I'll film you underwater doing the front flip. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll, we'll want to go with about ninety five percent max effort. So where? Green stick. Ninety five. Yeah. In the last 10 minutes before the, of, the, of your swim, what you want to make sure you, you do is, is you try to start to activate and you kick a lot more. So you want to be more active with kicking, not like full max kick, but you want to definitely be at about 80%. So start kicking more, start kicking more. And then with the last 50 meters before you exit the water, you actually want to pretty much go hard with your kick. So 95%. So what it does is you're kicking more, you're waking up your legs, so when you when you spend the last hour or so in the horizontal position in in the ocean, when you when you quickly lift your legs up and you know, start to run out of the water, they're not going to cramp up. I used to have that problem a lot. Didn't know what, what was causing it. Well, and then ended up hearing that tip from someone else. So kicking in the last in the last 10 minutes is important. Kicking in the last 50 meters before you exit the water at about 95 percent. Kicking kicking hard is is essential. So uh, we're gonna start practicing that as well and see how we feel. Run, run, run. I hit the rock. Watch out. Cool. Nice. That was hard. Hard? Hard to get out of the water. Yeah, it's, you, you feel like your heart rate is going up all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. It just like drastically goes up. I wait till. Um, when you when you jump on the bike, once you start to settle, yeah. like you feel like it's bumping for like the next ten minutes, but you just gotta be, you just gotta you just gotta give it a bit of time. But yeah, yeah it's it's a bit of an unusual feeling. So that's why I like, like when I said try to like run out of the water rather than being clumsy oh, and I to like see the rocks and all that. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to to finish the swim without a bit of a, uh, <laughs> a race. Right there. <laughs> without rocks. But typically there'll be no rocks. There'll be a red carpet waiting for you, mate. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Nice. Oof. We just wrapped up swim. Um, two watches saying two different things. Really good swim. Yeah, we've practiced a few things today. Sprints, sightseeing, um, sc sculling in the water. Practiced like keeping the head not too high out of the water when you, when you do the sightseeing so that way you don't sink. We tried to do kicking as well. People don't typically try to, to kick as often but they, they definitely should in the last 10, 10 minutes of uh, 10 minutes of their swim so it's actually been a really yeah. good day it's been a good learning day good, good learning like day, I've right? learned a lot successful session really good really fun to learn uh, a bit more about open water swimming hopefully we'll do, we'll do at least one or two more before the race hopefully one yeah. or two more yeah well I'm aiming to open swim five more times every five. week yep thanks to Anton for thanks guys helping us out thanks, and learning a bit more about open water swimming um, anyway, I'm off to dog training. Peace.